Well, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Scout Prepper channel. So, I just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys kind of what I've been playing with for some emergency, when the power goes out, or maybe some bug out. Uh, solar power, little uh, side power that doesn't need electricity. You know, I have a several different systems. I have a different get home bag. I have kind of a wilderness survival bag. I have emergency prep stuff here in my home. So it takes some different equipment and I've been playing with some of the many choices on the market. I've done some Goal Zero and I've shown that on video. Very expensive, but really well made stuff. I've kind of been playing with some different stuff lately. So in my big bag, my wilderness survival bag, most of my stuff is running off of CR-123s, 1816, 18650 batteries, things like that. So I wanted a system that would easily let me recharge that. Here's what I've gone with so far. And I've had this out today, all day, and it did the job. But i kind of tell you what I ran into. So the panel itself is a three panel system that's foldable, as you see, and it's made by RAV Power. It's a 15 watt panel, so five per panel. It's very lightweight. It's only about 1.4 pounds. It folds up to the size of a piece of notebook paper. So we're good to go there, really thin. And it has two <clears throat> USB output, outputs, and they are the new iSmart stuff. So they charge at the rate that your phone or whatever device would need, which optimizes charge time. So we're good to go there. I added to that though, couple of accessories first of all from Nightcore, who also makes flashlights I did the UM20 and the UM20 allows you to charge most of your 18650 batteries like that and our CR 123s all that good stuff it charges a whole bunch of stuff it's uh, it charges two its input is a micro USB you see right there which is pretty standard today it goes over to USB and it has a USB cord already built in that wraps around the base and so you can do this switch which says uh, battery or USB and if you put it to USB it puts priority over to another device so let's say you had already charged your batteries you leave them in there you hit the uh, USB option and you can start plugging in your phone and charging it straight through kind of a pass-through deal this is a good charger especially for in the 20 something to 30 something dollar range it's digital, it shows, it's charges separately for both batteries, and it shows your progress, and it cuts off when you are full, so it doesn't overcharge. I added a power pack to this system. This is a RAV power. You've seen my 15,000 already on camera probably a year ago. This is the Element 10,400, so it's dual with the new iSmart. Only one of the ports, iSmart, and then the other one's one amp, so this is up to 2.4 or what have you. You can read it on the website, but I think it is up to 2.4. And you push this, it shows you your indicator, it blinks to charge, real standard stuff, but it's 10,400 amps. So on the battery bank, if I have that now on a cloudy day uh, or, or a day where it's really storming or what have you, or at night, I can charge my devices. And this charges via micro USB to USB. So we're good, it plugs into the solar panel. Now, one thing I ran into, I will tell you, it has dual outputs, as you see, two USB iSmart outputs on the 15 watt panel. But, when I plugged in the uh, 18650 batteries and the RAV Power 10,400 milliamp power pack, it wouldn't do them both at once. The 18650 deal went to EE, meaning error, didn't have enough juice for it, but it started charging the power pack. So neither one of these, as far as I can see on the manufacturer's documentation, have priority, but it was simply enough to charge the, probably slowly, charge the battery bank, but it wasn't enough to do 18650s at the same time. And of course, 18650, you're talking about a 3.7 volt, 3400 milliamp battery, which is pretty heavy duty. But it couldn't do them both at once. Now I can do them both separately. I didn't play around with a lot of other combinations, but it definitely had trouble with two powerhouses like that. One thing that I added for $20 is the Sunjack AA or AAA battery charger. It is micro USB to USB. Works perfectly on the system. And if you had AA's or AAA's in your setup, which I, my lights are all CR123 or 18650, but things like my GPS, things like that, those are double A. Also can do double A's on my Baofeng radio. So it uh, it's pretty handy. I did double A's just because I do have a couple of devices that do double A's. And it can, I've already seen on a hunting trip, it can do the 18650s at the same time that it's doing the double AA, A, triple A charge. So not bad there. Well, again, at a pound 
we're talking about 40 bucks for the solar panel uh $30 for the charger, $30 for the power pack, $20 for the AA. We're in a pretty affordable system, and with all those accessories, we're still under $100 or right at it, and we're less than the Goal Zero stuff. Again, nothing against Goal Zero. I have that stuff. I videoed that stuff on YouTube, and I love that stuff, but it is a little expensive. So if you're on a budget or you want a little more power, 15 watts, RAV power might be the way to go. But again, depends on your conditions. I'm in North Texas. Plenty of sun today. It's mid-May, it was 85 today, and it was not enough to charge the power pack in the 18650s But at the same time. But other than that, for a full day sun, I was able to get one of the CR120, I mean the uh, 18650s to 99%, one of them to 97%, and I charged the power pack all in the same day. I didn't start it till about noon, and by 5.30, they were both pretty good. I had taken one off and put the other one on. So pretty good, and they were only both about half down. Now, your results may vary. So, guys, that's it. I hope this helps with you playing with some of the gear that's out there. A lot of stuff starting to hit the market in the solar realm, and this is pretty affordable and pretty effective. As always, guys, I appreciate the views and subscriptions. Keep them coming. As you remember, Scout Prepper is part of a three-channel network with Scout Tactical, Scout Prepper, and Scout Hunter. Check us all out on the web, scouttactical.com, on Facebook, on Instagram. And as always, thanks for watching.